It's another Clashing Day victory for us and then three star attack from me, or truly the greatest attacker in the world. I am the greatest man ever. No, I am not the greatest, you know that. I show you all my fails, all my successes. So why am I coming in on this side of the base? Yes, not the greatest base design. All these bases we hit, the three star, they weren't the best base design, but still, you gotta know how to take them down. I'm coming in on the western, eastern side, why? Well. I'm gonna hit the two loons on that archer tower to the south and put the baby dragon. So the baby dragon will clear out pretty much the south. And if, I, my plan is to hope the queen will path north and then drop the golem up there by the wizard tower. And if not, my contingency plan is to come in right on the south wizard tower with my golem and valkyries, if the queen doesn't path north. I'm hoping she does. Why on this side? Well, there's two expos. I think she could get, she'll both get, she'll get them down, at least one down, and that air defense as well. There comes the loons, I barely get that archer tower down that was really dangerous i got fortunate there to get it down so things are not going as i planned i'm hoping she'll path north but no at this moment i was like you know what it's a 50 50 chance she'll go north or south and she went south unfortunate so at this moment i knew what i was going to do uh so i dropped my uh wall breakers here and the golem now what could I have done different? The baby dragon's doing tons of work. Look at that. Baby dragon took out uh, that uh, cannon as well. Here comes the golem. And I'm being very patient. Maybe a little late on the bowlers, I think, and the Valkyries. Probably should have dropped them a little bit sooner. But the funnel was there, so I was not worried about that. Um, but look what happened here. And I, sh I knew this could have occurred. Unfortunate. I was hoping, so the Valkyries see to the east, I was hoping they would take out that wizard tower and then come back. But see, there's no units to the south. And so what happens is they're going to go north and not into the core of the base. This is very dangerous. So I had to split Valkyries. And at this point, I was like, you know what? I could easily fail here. Things are not going well. My golem is being healed up. He is distracting at least that cannon. So it's going to save um, my bowlers there. And look at that baby dragon. I have one more baby dragon to the south. I brought two, and it's doing a lot of damage. Going to help out and take out a lot of things. At this point, I was like, you know what? I should have this three star. I have the queen ability. I think this is going down. As long as my queen can get into that expo, it will go well. The expo is the last danger target of all this attack. And hopefully, there she goes. She's taking out the expo now. And there's the three star. So, you know... I saw what I needed to be done, and it worked. You know, would this have worked on a max Town Hall 10 base, this strategy? I don't know. It would have been very hard. Then again, max Town Hall 10 bases, you can't three-star them all the time. Very low success rate at that. Very dangerous here. So look what's going on. I wait till the last possible second to use her ability. Why? Well, look what happened. Because I waited, the Archer Queen, I mean, that Archer locked onto the Golem and then the queen was able to take it out. So there you go, three star attack. Not the best executed. If I brought maybe a wider funnel, it would have been better. Here's another three star attack. Again, all these bases aren't the best base designs and they're not max town, max town all 10 bases. So understand this, I always point that out. Um, so just compare what's going on and but then again these bases can cause trouble if you don't get that funnel going if you don't do the right th steps so obviously go coming in great side to come in why because the queen will be able to take down the uh clan castle and um some expos there so that's why you come in on that eastern side to take down the clan castle easy peasy now this next step this is a little this work gets a little dangerous What's going to happen? Okay, Golem there, but what is going on? You see those builder's huts to the north? This could cause serious trouble for the funneling issues. They look far away, but when those bowlers get into the core, some of them are going to go around the base. Could be very dangerous, um, but luckily, not too many bowlers went around the base. It could have been a lot worse, so very fortunate there. And once he's in the core here, it's pretty much all she wrote. You know, you drop the rage for the Valkyries and then um, the heal spell. And but look, I mean, even this bad base design, um, and it's still you know relatively close in the sense things could go awry. You know, maybe all your Valkyries get hit the spring traps instead of triggering by the golem. But because he's got some miners there, if you notice, he brought miners for the cleanup crew. Um, he's able to take down this base. Full golem health. Actually, on this base, I probably wouldn't have brought a golem. I would have just brought extra Valkyries because he didn't really need the golem. Um, so, but it doesn't matter. He got the three star. Tons of troops left. 
King and Queen still alive. There you go. Three star attack. So, um, going forward, guys, what do you want the channel to be? Do you want more Town Hall 10 attacks? I, you know, my specialty is showing you fails and then how to overcome them. Uh, most channels don't do that. Do you like that? I mean, is that something you enjoy? I know this this one is mainly three star attacks, but usually I try to bring some fails and then how to overcome. What was the difference? A lot of times it's AI movement. You can't, you know, you get a little unlucky. Um, but sometimes it is execution a lot, and you know, just not the proper thing. You know, I think for me and probably a lot of you as well is making those split second decisions when things are not going right. And that's where I need to really work on my game because you have to make a split second decision. And if you make the wrong decision, you don't get the three star. But if you make the right decision, all your dreams come true. Yes, all your dreams do come true. Um, so uh, that that's something I need to learn. And and uh, teaching that it's really hard to teach that. You know, I think that just comes with practice and not getting overwhelmed. My thing is, you know, getting super nervous, overwhelmed, and just kind of making that split second decision, and it's the wrong decision at that. Um, so. You know, that's something, hopefully if I come up um, and be able to teach you that, I'm going to show you that and how to overcome that and do better and better. Uh, because I, I did a raid, I had a war uh, two wars ago where if I made the right decision, I would have gotten a three star, but I made the wrong decision. Um, and I think I showed that video. But anyways, so here's another three star attack. That one was a little closer, uh, but let's keep on moving up the ranks. I'm gonna show you some fail at the end, but here's another three star attack. This is, a, again, not the best base design, but still, this is actually gonna be a hard funneling issue. If you, because th everything's kind of spread out on the outside, funneling could be a big problem here. So what you're gonna see here, uh, learning of the clan castle, but he's gonna take his time and use a huge funnel. So he's gonna use, bring a lot of archers, some minions as well to make sure all those outside defensive structures are taken down before he brings in the core of his attack. Um, because you got to make sure you get into the core. Again, these bases can be complicating just because complicating. That's complicating. Complicated. Man, I can't even talk. Terrible. Um, so, again, look at that. The funnel is there. You can tell where he's going to come in. He actually made a wider funnel than I I would have done. I actually would not have made that as wide a funnel as he did. I would have... Um, um, made it a little bit smaller and actually brought my Valkyries and King uh, along with the Queen. So a little mistake there that could have cost him. Luckily, um, he was able to take down the base, but it could have cost him in the end. Um, so I always try, if you can, drink, bring in your core attack um, with the Queen. So when you do the Queen walk, she'll create the funnel and then try to bring the, the bulk of your attack with the Queen to keep her alive longer if possible. And it just helps out your uh, attack as well here's a two-star attack now this is a base that if you encounter these ring type bases let's see um, I'm gonna show you my attack of this base there was a number of attempts against this base and we didn't get the three star this is my attack so if you encounter this base uh, best strategy for this Queen walk clan castle with bowlers and um, to finish into the core of the Valkyries. So what you're doing is cr you're really creating a big funnel here. The queen is gonna take down one side of the base and then your bowlers and golem and king are gonna, uh, and bowlers and golem are gonna take down the other and then the Valkyries and king will come into the core. And I'll show you what it looks like. So if you see these ring bases, they're pretty easy to get, but somehow we failed on this base. I don't, uh, it was bad execution, um, kind of unlucky here at times. Mine was really unlucky and I'll show you why. And I couldn't have planned for, I could have planned for it. I just didn't and it had a big fail. So everything's going great. Look, look what the queen's doing. She's learning the clan castle, took down a king, taking down expo, I mean those archer towers as well. So I had to use another rage to make sure she stayed alive, but things are going great. This is where it gets icy. Golem down, that's okay. What I wanted though, I wanted the bowl of my um, wall breakers not to hit that compartment. They hit the wrong compartment. They um, And so what happened was, the bowlers didn't go where I wanted them to go. So unfortunate there. And that's why I failed. If you noticed, I did drop my king down, but look what's going to happen. The funnel was not there. If the bowler, I mean, if that golem had dropped into the core, my bowlers would have stayed alive longer. 
um, and all those units and create the funnel. Those storages should have been gone already. I wanted them to path east, north, south, but they didn't, and thus the split of my Valkyries. See, look at this. I didn't have enough Valkyries into the core. Only about five of them made it into the core. It's just not enough firepower for all that, and so thus the fail. So, funneling issues there due to the wall breakers. Anyway, there's some Town Hall 10 three-star attacks. Thanks again, guys, for watching. Um, and we will see you next time, my friends. And as always, Halo.